right guys dust.io back with another video and tonight we have the follow-up on the next tool uh mini flagship Oop. throwing stuff around guys throwing stuff around let's get this adjusted all right so this guy has been interesting so after the initial review, I wound up tightening the pivots and that actually solved a little bit of the wiggle. Uh, just some, not all of it. It's still present, but it's not broken at all. I found that the pliers are actually pretty handy for their size, but they're not really good for um, very precise work because they have that weird divot up front. So you're not going to get right up to something and be able to grab it. Um, Although for their size, I found that they are impressive. The The build quality is actually pretty okay for something that only cost uh, like 25, 30 bucks. Um, and its selection of tools isn't bad. So over here, we have this file slash flathead, and that's held up just fine. And a big Phillips that's also held up. I've used both um, as well. The can opener bottle opener i haven't had a chance to use the can opener i'm sure it probably works pretty fine it's actually sharpened so i wouldn't put too much distrust in that and a little blade none of this is locking mind you it came pretty sharp it's still pretty sharp i've cut some tape with it not much else um it's got a little key ring and then of course the main feature Skizzers! So, skizzers. Um, I have uh, one or two little columns with these. Uh, when you try to cut something thick, they have more of a tendency to dislodge and not cut. So they'll just kind of, where they, they go sideways and they won't cut. Uh, otherwise, they have cut everything else pretty all right. And also, they just don't meet up very easily. Maybe it's the specific one, I'm not sure. But again, I haven't had too many issues, just the really thick stuff, you know. So, what are my general thoughts? This little guy is really interesting. It's got kind of a, a bad form factor for a mini tool. But the fact of the matter is that no other mini tool I've ever encountered can say that it does that. So... It has a con of size, but it makes up for it with dual functionality. It really does have two main features, and both of them work pretty decently well for the size of the tool. Mind you, this is not a full set of pliers, and this is not a full set of scissors. It's a multi-tool, and they both have their limits. I did cut some zip ties with the wire cutters on the plier side. It held up just fine. Um, I've done a little bit of ply work, not too much, because again, it's a light duty tool and these are very thin, but <clears throat> it's held up to all of it. And it's not that heavy. I mean, it's, it's a bit of a chunk. It's solid metal, so, um, it does have some weight, but I think the form factor, the weight and the price are worth it. So if it's a keeper yeet in question... I definitely probably say keep. I'd actually re recommend this little fella. I'm not sponsored in any way or anything, but after two weeks of carrying it, it's actually pretty nice. I'm not going to carry it because I carry a, a juice. No, sorry, a squirt. PS4. Um, and that does what I need it to. But if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, and even one that has slightly larger tools, like that Phillips, like, wow. This is probably a really good option for you, and if you're not into getting a full-size multi-tool, this is a really good in-between. So, that's my follow-up on the next tool mini flagship. Uh, go check out Vostid, as usual. Got a dirty blade there, but my favorite knife guys freaking awesome well that's that and uh have a good one guys